The GoPro Hero 4 Silver was released back in 2014. Now, at the time, it cost around $400. Nowadays, you can find it used for literally as low as $60. How has this camera held up over the past six years? The build quality of the Hero 4 is good, but it's not quite on par with modern GoPros. You know, GoPros nowadays have that kind of tough rubberized exterior. These are a little bit more plasticky. You know, anybody who's ever done any work on their GoPro and taken it apart, you know, that whole front panel is just kind of a plastic panel that like pops right off. Uh, the other thing to note with the Hero 4 line is that lens is completely exposed. You know, modern GoPros have that little lens cover that's replaceable, except for the Hero 8. Uh, the Hero 4, you know, if you crack that lens, you have to just replace the entire lens itself. That's definitely something to keep in mind. You know, another thing worth noting too, the Hero 4 isn't waterproof, so you're actually going to need like an additional waterproof housing if you want to take this surfing, swimming, diving, whatever. Uh, in terms of video specs, the GoPro Hero 4 Silver is billed as a 4K action camera, but I mean, it's not really usable 4K. It only does 4K at 15 frames per second. If you're a casual user and you don't know what that means, it's not really enough frames per second to give the look of a like nice, clean, smooth video. It's going to give you kind of a choppy, staggered sort of look. Uh, the Hero 4 Black, on the other hand, does do actual 4K at like 24 and 30 frames per second. In terms of the Hero 4 Silver, uh, you do have 2.7K at 24 and 30 frames per second, and you have the option of both wide, medium, and linear fields of view. Also, you've got 1080p and super view at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second, and plus you also have the other viewpoints of wide, medium, linear, and even narrow mode. Uh, there's also kind of an interesting 960p that's a sort of 4x3 aspect ratio. It does do 100 frames per second, but it's giving you that kind of square, like, Instagram-style video, so, I, you know, if you want to use that, you're probably going to want to, like, crop it in to make it 16x9. Uh, not something that I use that often. Image quality on the Hero 4 Silver is weirdly good. You know, when you hear the term six-year-old action camera, you're not expecting like great image quality, but you know, I have to say in filming this review, I was genuinely surprised with the look of the video that I was getting from this little camera. You know, it doesn't have traditional GoPro colors, like it's not overly contrasty with that really saturated bright blue sky, and that's kind of what I like about it. Uh, what it does give you is just a genuinely good image straight out of camera, and it gives you a nice flat picture profile for color grading too. Uh, gotta say, I was genuinely surprised with the image coming from this camera. You know, another thing that surprised me about the Hero 4 Silver was the past week when I was filming this review, it basically rained like every single day, and plus the time change, and so now it gets dark at like noon. Um, but the thing is, I had to film a lot of this footage at higher ISOs, and I was expecting it to look really bad and really noisy, and much to my surprise, all of it looked pretty good. Like, it looked way better than what I was expecting. I mean, like you saw in that last clip, everything was probably filmed right around ISO 800 or 1600, and it's like, it was still just good, usable footage. I honestly wasn't expecting that going into this. Now, on the other hand, one major downside of the Hero 4 Silver that we have to address is the fact that there is absolutely no image stabilization on this camera whatsoever. You know, you gotta remember, from the original GoPro Hero up through Hero 4, action cameras simply did not have image stabilization. You know, it wasn't until GoPro Hero 5 and 6 that they had actual image stabilization, and it wasn't until 7, 8, 9 until they had genuinely good, hyper-smooth, gimbal-like image stabilization. Hero 4 Silver has no stabilization whatsoever, and it shows. You know, if you look at that footage at the very beginning of the video, and I made that comment about the footsteps, that's even if you're being careful, even if you're trying to do that really soft-footed ninja walk, you're still getting that camera shake in that video, and there's no way to get around that. 
Uh, another thing, I did a test here the other day where I clamped it on to the front of my skateboard and just skated through the parking lot. Uh, that footage was so shaky to the point of being almost unusable. You know, admittedly, this parking lot is kind of a rough surface, but I tried the exact same thing with an Osmo Action, and on the Osmo Action, it actually kind of smoothed it out pretty decent. Uh, the footage did look okay, though, when I was just holding it handheld and skating that way, though in that sense, the Osmo Action did still look a bit smoother. So yeah, that's definitely something you're going to have to take into consideration if you're looking at this camera, is there is just absolutely no image stabilization whatsoever, and it becomes very apparent, especially when you're doing any type of, like, sports. So at $60, where does the GoPro Hero Silver 4 fit in? Especially when you've got, like, all these cheap sort of no-name action cameras on Amazon, you know, all the Acaso 7000s and the Campark V30s. How does the Hero 4 Silver stack up to something like that? Well, for me personally, I've watched like 8 million different reviews on all of those sort of cheap Amazon type action cameras, and I haven't seen a single review where I was actually just sort of happy with the image quality. The image quality always just had a weird kind of like video-y sort of look to it that just... I don't know, it was kind of gross and off-putting, even though those cameras were newer. Uh, with the Hero 4 Silver, it's an older camera, but it has a much better image quality, and you've got a lot more customizability than you have on those other ones. True, it doesn't have image stabilization. That's, I mean, th admittedly, that's its biggest weakness right there. But overall, the look and feel of the video that you're getting from the Hero 4 Silver just looks so much better and so much more natural than all of those sort of cheap Amazon no-name action cameras. You know, I actually have a Yeelight action cam, but uh, it basically worked for four months and then just stopped working with no reason. And in the time that it did work, the image quality was just kind of subpar and mediocre. The Hero 4 Silver was ironically cheaper than the Yeelight and looks 10 times better than the Yee Light does. Now again, there's eight different versions of like the Yee action camera. I was filming on a Yee Light. Maybe some of the newer ones look as good, but as of right now, for me personally, I would still just go with the GoPro Hero 4 Silver over any of those knockoff no-name ca cheap cameras on Amazon. You know, with the Hero 4 Silver, you're just getting a better overall image and a better overall user experience. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.